Good morning. It is now Friday as you're watching this and I hope that you guys are enjoying your day. Today's not going to be your usual vlog. Today I am going to be doing a bag dump of uh, everything that it is I carry uh, when I travel. So if you guys were looking for your usual vlog where you follow me along and see what I did for that entire day, this is not the video that you're going to be wanting to watch. Instead, come back tomorrow which will be full of action. It'll be full of travel from here to LA. Oh, actually, no, tomorrow I, I, I do a whole bunch of stuff. Um, let me get uh, started with everything that I carry. I'm going to try to go as quickly as possible with this so you guys can be engaged, so you guys can see what's happening, and so you guys can just get to the business in case you guys want to get any of this. Contraptments and the devices that I use, I am going to link them all in the description below. It's going to be my Amazon link, uh, so you guys can just click and, and buy. Okay, we're going to start it off immediately. The only one thing I will say this that will not be listed uh, down below is more than likely the Supreme backpack that I carry. Not only that, but I don't recommend it. It's too small. It's compact enough to where I can fit and stuff a whole bunch of stuff in there. Uh, but for the most part, it is not a good backpack. The only reason that people wear it or the only reason I wear it is because it has Supreme on it. It's kind of high beast ish I know, but I got a good deal and I had to cop it. Um, but let's get started. The number one thing, obviously, is going to be the vlog. I use a, uh, a 2017 MacBook Pro. Um, there won't be any specs listed below because you, I, I over, I overdid it and I got the, the, all the upgrades that needed for me to have the vlog. It's the one with the touch bar, so that's pretty cool. I, I do like the fact that it has a touch bar. I don't use the touch bar and I don't recommend this MacBook Pro. The main reason that I use this instead of anything else is because it's got a Final Cut Pro and that's what I'm editing this video on. Uh, it's the easiest one. Uh, Apple, for some reason, started doing C drives, as you guys will see right here, on both sides. And they went away with the USB ports and they went away with the SD card slots, which to me is a pain in my butt. I'm going to show you what it takes for me to edit my vlog when I edit my vlog at my desk, okay? Just to give you a slight idea, this is what my setup look like, looks like when I'm recording. I have a dongle for my, that, that's uh, an SD card reader. I have a dongle that, a USB port dongle that has three slots, one for my iPhone if I record my iPhone, one for the lazy uh, external hard drive that I use, and obviously it, it, it all plugs into here. So it's an entire mess where before everything just went seamlessly into it from USB ports to that. This little additional contraption is just really, really bad for business, and I don't recommend. That's why I do not recommend the MacBook Pro. There's a sleeve on the back side of the backpack that's, uh, that, that actually fits very, very perfectly, as you guys will see there, right? And for entertainment, I have my iPad Pro, and it fits perfectly back there. Now, the rest of the stuff, I'm very particular about where I put this because I literally want to go straight to the backpack. I don't want to fumble through things. I literally want to get in there, grab the stuff that I need, and get editing. So the laptop charger goes in here. All the editing stuff goes in there, stuffed in there. No, no need to be super careful about it. And that's where it goes. So far, that is what I have as far as editing goes. Since I'm on the road a lot, I'm going to need a lot of power banks, but I only take two. Uh, this Next Tech uh, charger, it charges up to three times, I believe. And this very, very special snug. They gave this to me at the A Sports Industry Awards this year, and then they gave me one the year before that. I, I literally went, you know, the eSports the, the e Team of the Year Award was awesome. This is what I love. And again, it is because of how thin this is that when you put it behind your phone, now this is an iPhone 8, so you guys can see how, how low profile it is. It goes seamlessly into your pocket and it's really, really easy to, to connect to that three inch dongle. These also go in the bottom with that. For my cables, I use this very cool pouch. Uh, it's, a, it's double zippered. It's got two sections from which you can open up like a booklet and in it you have obviously the ability to put as many cables through these uh, compartments as you want. I use a six port anchor uh, device, which is this, uh, that connects to this, um, that connects to this power cord. And I literally have this many, this many cables that charge my power banks, that charge my phone, that charge my iPad, all connected into this one little device that just like feeds all the energy throughout through one port. It makes it look neater once you're in, obviously when you're in a hotel desk, your desk is not yours. So you try to utilize as much space as possible on the thing that you have. Um, the pouch itself is really good. It's, it comes with uh, two mesh compartments on one side and then the other one uh, with one plus the elastic bands to keep your stuff in there very, very safely. Uh, I highly recommend it because again, it, it, it fits a lot of stuff and it is easy to just sip up, put away. This little pouch goes at the bottom of my backpack, on the main section of the backpack, all the way in the bottom, as you guys can see right there, fits 
perfectly and that gets thrown out of the way. The next couple of things that I'm gonna show you are very simple, small little objects that can save your life if you're ever in a bind. Uh, I got all of, the, I got these two out of a W hotel in Atlanta, I believe. They come with the, with the upgrade, if you get the upgrade. It comes with a pair of, uh, it comes with a pair of nail clippers, some Q-tips, uh, some scissors, some gauze. It's just pretty much a little, a, a small survival kit. You just never know where you're gonna use that. It's so low profile that it doesn't matter. It doesn't take that much space in your backpack. So you can just keep that in there forever until you need to use it. Uh, I got this little uh, pouch on an airplane. It comes with a toothbrush. It comes with a whole bunch of Q-tips, some hand sanitizers, some Benadryl, cow's head, uh, moist towelettes this is just pretty much a oh and and last but not least some q-tips and toothpaste this live the, that's there i've got these about a year ago i haven't used them once but i am really really happy that one they don't take up too much room and two at some point or another i will utilize them and lastly again this is a toothbrush that's that's in there it also comes with uh, a small tube of paste and I just keep these in there at all times. They never ever leave uh, the backpack and I put them in one of the upper compartment of the backpack. As I mentioned, they are super low profile so they don't take up that much space. They don't bother anyone and they could be a literal lifesaver, maybe not a lifesaver, but definitely a breath saver uh, if you're ever stuck in an airport or you just forget to pack your own tooth toothpaste, which, which is something that I've done before. Front and top pocket. This to me is just things that are necessary immediately for you to reach in and grab. And that more often than none is going to be chapstick, headphones. Uh, my, I, I believe my mother-in-law gave me the small rosary. I am a big believer in good luck and, 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 and you know, to not you know, give some of this stuff away. So I carry this with me because she gave it to me on a travel day. She said, carry this with you, it'll protect you. And you know, I, I said, why not? It's, it's not gonna take up any spots. So I put that in the main pocket. Uh, I have dongles for, I have these three dongles that go in my iPhone X. I carry two more nail clippers because you never know if you need to share some of that. You never know if you're gonna need them yourself and you never know if you're gonna lose one or leave one behind in a bathroom. You still have, you know, two backup ones to never lose them again. I have this very cool international power port. Uh, it's, it's every single country that you could ever imagine. The cool thing about it is that it's, it's, uh, it's, it's like a Lego. You can pull that apart. It transforms into something that you may or may not use. You can literally pull this apart and use this in, I believe, France. You have this that you can use in England. And then obviously you, you flip it over and it's the vice versa. You can use the English into American supply or American uh, power cords into that. I, I love this device. I've used it in every single single time I've traveled, and you know I, I don't think that I could ever give it up. It's super low profile. I, I carry it in here even when I'm not traveling uh, overseas, just because. You never know if you're gonna have a friend that's here from England. You're never gonna know if you have some friend that's here from France. You just never know. You want to have that readily available for them to have that option. You want to save the day at all times. You know, last but not least, the things that go last in the top pocket is my Apple Pen, which is super legit. It goes with my iPad. Sometimes I like to sketch a little something here and there uh, that goes there. And then this tactical pen is probably my favorite thing because it has a stylus tip in which you can run. It's really, really durable. You flip it over, you have a pen. Uh, and then obviously it's got some tactical use to it too. You can break a window with this if you need to. Uh, but more often than none, I just use this to, uh, to create you know, drawings on an Instagram story. After the pen, I, uh, I always, 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 always carry two Polaroids. One is of Olivia, one is of Judith. Uh, I know that I have a million pictures of them in my iPhone, but it's always really nice to have something physical for you to have. Uh, I carry this uh, Call of Duty XP 2016 I carry this uh, 2016 Call of Duty XP uh, hotel key card. Some hotels nowadays are really, really into preserving electricity. Uh, it's it's a way for them to save money, but you know, and, and they only give you two keys. So what I do is I put this one in there as a as a fail safe um, that that allows me to have my you know my key when I leave and keep you know my all my my electronics charging while I'm out of the room. And uh, to close out the top pocket, I have my uh, my foldable. Purse soles. Uh, these are uh, sunglasses that I just bought. 
Uh, I lost my black ones, but these are foldable, which is why I like them. I, I, I like them a lot. They have a little blue tint. It's a little wood grainy. Uh, it looks like, you know, little wood grainy and they fold and collapse into this little tiny little thing that can fit in the palm of your hand. Uh, they go really, really easily into your pocket. Uh, I obviously, you know, carry them in the case, put them in the top pocket. Pocket is now closed and ready to go. Now let's get to the camera gears. Uh, very top level stuff and I'm gonna get through this as quickly as possible so we can get done with this video so you guys can go off on your merry way and hopefully, you know, take some tips out of this and uh, maybe you can add them to your bag. Uh, the main camera that I use to shoot my vlog, as you guys know, is a Sony a7S Mark II and the lens that I'm currently using for it is a 1635 2.8 with a Rode microphone that automatically shuts off by itself and turns on by itself when you turn the camera on. It's a magical instrument that I cannot help but to but to suggest it for you because of the amount of times that I've shot a clip with no audio because I forgot to turn my microphone on because I turned it off to preserve some battery. Um, but let's get to it. You don't need a super expensive rig, as you guys know, to shoot a vlog or to shoot any sort of video. Go into any reasoning as to why you don't need an expensive camera. You can use your phone and you can use this, you know, a smaller device uh, to do that. Better Man have uh, explained it way better than I have and ever will. So I'll just leave it there. If you guys have any questions as too far as like video camera quality, I suggest watching uh, Casey Nice that he does a very, very uh, good job at explaining. The, does, a better, does a really good job at explaining the, the camera quality and the price points uh, that best fit you. As you guys know, the first year of my vlog, I shot on a Sony RX100 Mark III. This is the four, the five is now out. It shoots amazing, it's got autofocus, and you can take some really nice pictures with it. But above all, it is the most durable point and shoot camera that I've ever had. I've taken it fishing in 110 degree weather, it's gotten wet, it still works. I've dropped it from who knows where, how many times, and it works wonders. I cannot recommend that camera more than I am recommending it right now, okay? If you guys want a point and shoot, the best one is the Sony RX100 series, bar none. There's nothing better. Nothing is more durable and nothing is, I just I just really, really like that camera. Uh, I My SD cards are kept in a Pelican case, as you guys see here, it's waterproof. Not that I would ever be so careless as to, you know, throw this out, but I, you know, if I do leave it out in the sun, it's gonna protect the SD cards, it's not gonna melt them. It'll protect it, it's really durable, as again, as, as I said. Um, I carry seven batteries, uh, the six that you see here, plus the one that I'm recording this video with. I carry a dual uh, charger, it's uh, made, it's by BM. As you know, I'll leave the link in the description. Uh, I carry my phone, which I use more often than none. I use this at least once a vlog. If I'm going out to dinner, if I'm going to a place where I don't really want to carry this big contraption, this shoots amazing. You don't need an expensive camera to get the shots that you need. It's all about, you know, capturing the moment. Uh, I carry a pen and paper. Yes, I can write notes on my phone, but just like with the pictures, it's always nice to have something uh, physical uh, that you can literally just reach down and grab and, and write down uh, stuff. Uh, I use this Metabones adapter. Uh, what this does, it allows me to use Canon glass, which is something that I have for a very long time and I, you know, I didn't want to buy one for the Sony, so I bought the adapter. This is a very expensive lens, so I bought the adapter so I can, it can work with this camera if I'm ever feeling frisky and I want to take some pictures. Uh, and it works with every single Canon lens. Uh, it's an E-mount uh, adapter. It's, uh, it's, it's again, by Metabones. Um, and yeah, that's my camera. Uh, if you guys have any questions on any of the gear, as I said, please uh, leave, um, and you know what, not only have a question, but if you have any suggestions of things that you carry in your backpack that you may not have seen and I may have use for it, I beg that you please leave it in the description down below because I can guarantee you I will buy it and make it a part of my everyday carry for my backpack. Um, but above all, if you guys have any questions on any of the stuff, uh, leave it in the, in, the, in the section down below. I'll try to answer as many as I can. Uh, I do appreciate you guys watching this video for as long as you guys have. I know it's a little bit longer and not your typical video, but it is something that people have asked me to do. So here I am doing it as I should. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna return to the regular vloggy schedule. If you guys uh, uh, are looking forward to that, thank you very much. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna do it for me, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you guys enjoy the video, I do request that you please leave a like as we agreed. I upload you like, that's the deal, we shook hands and all that. Okay? Now, having said that, boys and girls, and with that said, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow as usual, and as per usual, the same damn